what's going on fam welcome back to my youtube channel and of course this is moments with baji mutlanti and i go by the name of baji watakara sibe you know that standard procedure right yes so without any waste of time please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't as yet and please also do smash that notification bell so that you won't miss any of my uploads from now on going forward yeah fam you've already seen the the title of this video we're on the study mission you know we are studying so yeah fam let's make uh you know studying and learning fashionable and sharing knowledge uh something normal let's just normalize sharing knowledge and you know excuse me and also making um studying fashionable so yeah so today i have um three tips or study methods that nobody tells you about nobody tells you about no i'm kidding you might have heard of them before or it might be your first time hearing of them and as i've mentioned in my previous video that family please disclaimer right there I'm sharing knowledge of things that worked for me in the past and also the knowledge that I gathered in my, you know, years of studying like over a decade ago and even now I'm still studying, I'm applying same techniques or, or methods. So yeah, so the techniques that I might be, you know, dishing out, they might not work for you, they might work for someone else. So do not bite my head off for that and don't blame me for that i'm just trying my best here and yeah disclaimer right there it's what worked for me and what i took from the self-help books or resources so yeah without any waste of time i will discuss only three only three study methods that nobody tells you about if they told you about them before then me and you were on the same page Let's revise them. Let's redo them again. So method number one is taking good notes and, you know, insurance against forgetting. Mm, guys, we must make sure that um, we don't cram or we don't study to cram. Remember in my previous video, I differentiated um, reading and studying because they're basically not the same things. Studying is when you engage actively with the material and reading is just, you know, like reading out loud or rereading or reading for class or reading out your textbook. But studying is when you go deeper into it, is when you are able to extract like examples to connect, you know, with the author or the professor or your lecturer and, you know, formulate problems, they, the steps and also the conclusions and those things, yeah. So yeah, taking good notes and insurance against forgetting that's the first step or method um, to study oh these dogs why why now i'm so sorry guys if you can hear the dogs from the the ground let's continue so now taking notes learn to take good notes efficiently you know as your instructors or your, your lecturer stresses important points in class, as you study your exams or your tests or your exams or your research or your assignments. You know, I remember in, in UJ back in the days, I love, I used to love taking notes, but I wasn't just, you know, taking notes of everything. Like I'll just listen to the lecturer especially when it's like you know prior to to a test or exams or certain assignment you know okay guys so yeah i remember i was saying in uj i used to take notes but i'll make sure that i only take notes of the things that the lecturer is you know like stressing on or emphasizing on and i like i used to die i used to live and die for scope Guys, if you don't understand my language, live and die is just me exaggerating that I used to love school to an extent whereby I'll go personally to lecturers' offices to ask for scope if there's any. It's not like you're giving me answers, you know, <laughs> scope, you know, reading like a textbook this much. Imagine. 
and you're writing like a test for like 50 marks. I can't read this a textbook this much. I need a scope or so if you don't have scope, you really need to take notes. And yeah, so this um you know study method number one like taking notes so without notes you will need to you know reread and review the entire assignments before a test or an exam this may require to read everywhere from i don't know thousand and thousands pages but in fact as a, it is a time you know saver the time you spend in note taking is not lost it's it is a time saver taking notes unlike you're not doing anything now you have to stack and and read something this much so method number three is reviewing that uh, material you know before reviewing let me just start by let me make it like method number three i'll tell you why so method number one is taking notes good notes and again you make sure that you are not forgetting the insurance against forgetting you know don't read to or study to cram uh, study to retain knowledge so method number two i would say it's overlearning material enhances your memory when you overlearn your material it enhances your memory you know it engages your 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 memory as well you then in doing that you're not gonna forget easily so the alphabet is an example of overlearning how did you learn it how did you learn an alphabet probably through recitation which is uh, the best way to you know add material into the memory trees and manipulate the material as many different ways as possible of writing reading touching and saying it and again in an experimental study students who overlearn material retained four times as much after a month than students who didn't overlearn like when you're reading something all over and all over again all it's rare that you can forget that remember in one of my videos i made an example with me teaching other you know students from other a different high school sipedi language like every day and doing that repeated like on a daily basis like what are the chances of you forgetting in an exam room nada you're not gonna forget any of that so tip number three is now the final one reviewing your material frequently reviewing your notes frequently the notes that you just took so hence i made the step the last step so a student who does not review material can forget 90 percent if not 80 percent what has been learned in only two weeks if not one week the first review should come very shortly after the material was first presented and studied so again reviewing early acts as a safeguard against forgetting and helps you remember far longer so it is very important firm to review your material more frequently whatever you don't understand extract you know uh, uh, those uh, um, like context um, you know like make example for, formulate examples from that and formulate also problems from that you know study so that come the exam time come the test time you you know you're on top of your game and although this uh, you know study methods they do work but there is one other component needed when using the study methods taking responsibility for studying by following through on assignments if they give you assignments do engage those assignments do collaborate those assignments with your past question papers together with your notes as you review your notes frequently or your material also review your past question papers also review those um you know um whatever you get it um as part of your revision and take responsibility as with most everything in your life your motto should be your motto should be i'm responsible for my success you're not studying for your lecturer you're not studying for your parents you're not studying for your partner your kids you are studying for yourself so please do take responsibility for your studies and 
do the methods that works best for you know yourself know what works best for you and motto in life be i am responsible for my success hmm. i'm also saying it now i'm responsible for my success please do say it with me and please do engage with me on the comment sections what more what do you want to hear more of the study methods then i'll do a separate video on that where must i elaborate more where do you not understand what content would you like me to bring to my channel and i would be very happy to engage with you guys and you know i love you so much and i love sharing knowledge so from me by jiba tara rai sibe let me go create more content and i hope you enjoyed this one and i'm gonna keep them coming be ready to study with me to revise with me and i hope really my advice is of you know solid uh it is gonna wait Niana. so yeah guys please make sure that you do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and i hope you enjoyed this and from me i am out i'm feeling very cold i'm very hungry i'm out right now and please study guys please do study good people please study so i'm out Let's <laughs>